Brick Addicts, Lego lovers, friends from all over the world. Today, we're gonna sticker the Subway Store. And just because I don't feel like moving this big monster off of this table, it's gonna sit right here while we do this. And I'm also, I'm in a huge room with all kinds of stuff right now. We've got a uh, series of videos coming that we're going to be doing on the modulars and hmm, maybe a few other things. You see anything you like? Did you want to see a video about it? There's the uh, Palace Cinema we're going to be uh, doing a special on as well. So you see anything you like? Just say, hey, Dave, do a video on that. So let's start stickering the subway. You know, it, it's amazing how much bigger this is. Let's tilt the camera. Look at that. There's just no comparison. This thing is a beast compared to that. Which is the intentions, right? All right. Subway. You know, I was going through the videos I said, are there any sets that I've never filmed stickering? So I got to looking because we've got probably about 50 videos filmed that just need edited and brought to the channel. Anyway, I came across Subway. There was no Subway. Let's say this. I came across the fact that we do not have Subway on there. So... I have to trim that off. So I figured I would uh, stick with the subway with you all today. I hope everyone is doing great. I hope everyone's having a good year and all that stuff. Depending on when you're watching this, it, uh, well, at least, let's say this. At the time of filming, Halloween and Trick or Treat was last week. So that was fun. In fact, by the time I got home and got my daughter ready, it was freezing cold out and the wind chill had it uh, literally below freezing. So, kind of made it a little rough. All right, let's see here. So when we sticker these, we um, try to get them obviously as straight as possible. Oops, I don't like the looks of that. That's not straight. So let's try this again. This is gonna be on both sides of the door. Why? Because if we only had it on one side of the door, you would see that on the other side. So, usually when we put a sticker on a window, we uh, do it on both sides. How's that look? It's a pretty cool front. We did not do that with the Home Depot. Home Depot's only got um, stickers on this side. So, now we could do uh, stickers that are the same size, maybe something saying, Thank you, come again, something like that, but we didn't. All right, so let's pop this off. This is the little side advertisement. And our cutter is a little bit moody today. 
These are hot off the press and the cutter's just slightly off on everything on this page. So, yeah, this one too. Can't have that. So we gotta trim it down a little bit. Now, thankfully, I didn't have any problems like that when printing the uh, Home Depot stickers because the Home Depot right here has over 800 stickers in it, which is pretty insane. And uh, someone asked me the other day, they said, boy, isn't that pretty sticker heavy? I said, yeah. It sure is. It's kind of the intentions with that set. So, I might redo that. Okay, so going inside, sometimes the insides, it's easier to take the stuff outside. So we kind of got a whole little plethora of things. Every time I move, I'm knocking sig figs off the table. Now, bags of chips typically have a little bit of uh, white, so we'll go ahead and leave that. At least some of them, I think. And this one goes right here. Just like that. Two bags of chips to choose from. And let's see if we can put something up here on... Oh, I know. This will be cool. We're going to put this. This is a, like a little flyer menu. We'll pop that right there on the table. So it'll look like whoever's sitting there eating is checking out the menu. And then, of course, the cash register. What I always say, can't have a business that make money without a cash register. I guess unless, of course, you take credit cards and you charge everything. I just made a couple of quick changes when you weren't looking. Move the uh, bags to the front. All right, here's, uh, this is one of my favorite little things right here. And this is gonna go in the uh, make line. Now, usually we don't have to do this. We don't have to trim like this. But for some reason, our cutter's just in a bad mood today. So, maybe the cutter doesn't like Subway. No, that can't be possible. That can't be possible. All right, so if we get this lined up perfect, that's going to look pretty good. Keyword, if. Mm. All right. How many takes is it going to take me to get this? This is tedious. I think we got it. There we go. There we go. Cool. Zabadak is sitting in here. Why is that, you ask? Well, because this set is going to our good buddy Zabadak. So, sorry there, I hit Zebedak in the head. So I figured I would uh, let Zebedak come and hang out in the set with us. All right. Let's see here. The soda stickers. This one actually cut pretty good. This is a brand new one that's got... You know, if you've ever watched any of our other stickering videos doing the restaurants, usually these are separate, which was an absolutely insane way to design those so I can bind them. Much easier to put on. All right, my favorite cut here. When they're angled like that, so they wrap perfect. He did a great job designing that. On you go. All right, and these here. This is Coke and 
Pepsi. Or let's see, is that pet? Nope, Coke and Sprite. Coke and Sprite. And let's see, Sprite was almost upside down. So this particular set, the Subway, has probably roughly about 20 stickers on it, as opposed to the Home Depot, which, believe it or not, as I said, has over 800 stickers, each of them having to be designed, printed, cut, all that good stuff. So, in case you ever think, why in the world did it take them four months to do that set? That would be why. That's the sole reason. So, and being the uh, perfectionist that we are, well, the ones that didn't come out perfect, we had to keep working with it until we got it perfect. So, all right. So the machine wants to fall apart on us. That's okay. Fix that. We are going to stick one of these on here. I guess that's representative of a salad. I didn't design that. But that's going to go right there. And let's see. Toying around with menu boards a little bit. I think we're going to go with this. This is a new menu board for the subway. Because I didn't like the last one. And this thing's a monster. It's giant. I didn't realize it was going to turn out so big. So, here's how we're going to do this. This is going to be interesting. We're going to pop these off. And I don't want this one. I want these two. So we line it up. You know what? We can cut that black off. That's what we'll do. Line it up. Make sure it is lined up. Okay. There we go. And then we trim it. And luckily, we've got almost the whole thing on there out of the two that we wanted. Cool. So, and actually, I'm not going to send this to Zabadak like this, but um, I think that uh, this is a much better looking menu board. Yeah, check that out. Clean the scissors. Trim off the bottom, and we are almost there. More trimming. Okay, there we go. This looks so much better. That goes right there, and voila! Much better, much better than what we had up there before. Okay, so I want to put something right here. Let's see what we got. Actually, we can get creative and of these so let's do that we've got the foot long section all right so we should call this video sticker creativity or something like that trim this down just a little bit This has got to be able to fit right here and look good. So, this is for people like me who have horrible vision. <laughs> All right. So, there we go. Okay. 
so. Register goes in. Just like that. Oops, wrong way. This goes in. I think that looks good. It's kind of like a, uh, hey, if you can't read that one, read that one sort of thing. Zabadak looks happy. Got another sticker to go. I have to cut this. Yeah, just a little off the bottom. That's an important one to get straight right there. And there we go. Now, you know what? We could stick an open sign or something like that in the window. I've got a wanted poster that's got yours truly on it. We'll stick it right here. And then I'll show you it up close. And Here's a little tip on how to remove stickers. I didn't like it. I looked after I took it off, so let's do another one. Let's do it this way. It's all about the angle. Okay, let's see. Now, for a while, last year we were putting this in, uh, this it says Easter eggs. Which, in case you don't know what an Easter egg is, it's uh, just kind of a hidden item. It's a term for hidden item. So, do we want to put some money in here somewhere? Do we have any room to put some money in here somewhere? Let's see. Let's throw down 20 bucks. That says what 20 bucks. Where should we put it? Maybe let's lay it right there. 20 bucks laying on the table next to Zabadak. We're gonna test his honesty today. Let's see if he takes that 20 bucks. We could put a candy bar there. <laughs> Should we do that? And uh, let's go, oh, hey. There's some of the uh, stickers that went into the Home Depot. There, there they are, and appliances over there. And that, my friends, is what they look like still on the sticker sheet. Washer drawer combo, there you go. Fridge combo, there you go. You know what, we could put a big highway sign in there. Nah, probably not appropriate. I do love this sticker sheet there. For, uh, how about Wendy's? It's actually, I'm gonna redo this to be this size right here. Not very hard to do. Someday maybe I'll do a, 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 a a sticker video showing exactly how we create all of them from scratch. And, uh, anyway, if you haven't seen the Home Depot video yet, be sure to check that out. Be sure to check out um, any other videos we got. We got uh, a couple subway tours with, of course, Zapadak. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching today. If you like the video, please click like down below. If you like vlogs and things like that behind the scenes, click right there. If you like highly detailed sets, just like this, click over there. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. It's been an honor stickering the subway. We will see you next time right here on Brick Addict.